So on today's video, we're gonna take a tour of Farragut, Tennessee. I'm going to do my best to give you an overview of the Farragut area, show you a few of the parks, show you two or three subdivisions, show you a little bit of Turkey Creek in the shopping areas, and just give you a good feel for the Farragut area. Now, if you're new to this channel and you wanna know everything that there is to know about living, working, eating and playing here in the Knoxville, Tennessee area, then you're gonna to wanna to subscribe below and click that bell so you can be one of the first notified of the current market conditions here in Knoxville, Tennessee. My name is Todd Jewell and me and my team receive calls and emails every day from people just like you who are looking to make that move and we absolutely love to hear from you. We don't care if you're looking to move immediately. If you're not gonna be making that move for a year, we'd love to go and get the process started so it can be as smooth and stress-free as possible. Okay, let's get started. So first up is Founders Park at Campbell Station. What we're gonna do is take a quick tour of this park. It's a fantastic park. It's a little different than some of the others I'm gonna show you. It's not full of uh, large playgrounds and those types of things. It's more of a, a park, as you can see behind me, with paved walking trails, beautiful scenery, and it has a history piece to it. As you walk through these trails and through the park, what you see is there's a lot of placards explaining the founders of the Farragut area. So, and as I'll, I'm gonna turn this way so you can see up here behind me, there's also uh, not just paved walking trails, but as you can see, maintained trails behind me um, that are mulch or they are um, a dirt or whatever. So it doesn't really matter. A lot of folks age-wise, you can get out here, you can walk and stroll, enjoy the afternoon. Even on a hotter day, just like here, you know, I'm in the shade as I walk. And uh, so it's a really, really nice place. I'm gonna walk on down here to where there's a creek that runs through um, the park. And a lot of folks love to come down here, bring the kids on and play in the creek, have, um, you know, have a, a little picnic or whatever, put an emu down here, or those types of things. So I'm gonna walk down this way and let you guys see that. And then we're gonna go from here, go jump in the car, run over through the Turkey Creek area before we start looking at some subdivisions and homes that are for sale here currently in Farragut. All right, let's get at it. So as we continue on down this path, you're gonna see the creek down here in front of you. I just wanna give you guys a, a feel for the beauty of this park, the nature that is surrounding it. You can see folks, emus and um, down here playing in the creek and you know, just hanging out, squirrels up here on the path and beautiful bridges. And it's just a fantastic, beautiful, beautiful place to come down and enjoy as a family. Uh, so, and even if you're not, you know, young at age, but still young at heart, and you want to do like I do and just get out and get a little exercise and walk, but you want to do it in an area like this where it's so peaceful and pretty, Founders Park is definitely one of my favorite places. Oh, and in the winter, near the holiday seasons, they have a huge uh, Christmas lights display here that the uh, the young folks at Ennis, older folks also absolutely love. We are driving right now, about to approach really close to City Hall here in Fair. We just passed the Coles over here to my left is a fresh market, bike shop, let's see, um, Regions Bank. There's lots of smaller pharmacies and other offices here on my right, as you can see as we come into town. Stein Mart over there, Planet Fitness, Starbucks, uh, you can see on my right. That's also City Hall down behind that in front of me. And one of the things you can see here in Farragut is, is our locals talk a lot about the, the traffic. If you've talked to someone who grew up here in Knoxville, they're gonna tell you Farragut has so much traffic. Okay, so it's almost four o'clock and you can see the traffic. I mean, it's, yes, it's heavier than normal, but it isn't anything that if you're coming from most metropolitan areas, it's it's a very light day. On my ride as we go out toward Turkey Creek is Summer Moon Coffee, fantastic coffee. And what we're going to do is just take it quickly, some of the commercial areas of Farragut, mainly Turkey Creek. Oh, 
Okay, so here we are at our first home. We have been looking at the King's Gate subdivision. I gave you guys a quick drive around and here we are, we have arrived. And this home is newly listed. It's been on the market for about 13 days. And it's currently listed $410,000 with total taxes paid on this home a year of $1,346.15. It's about 1,821 square feet. It's a three bedroom, two bath, and it is zoned for Farragut schools. It sits on about 0.34 of an acre. It's about $225 a square foot. And as you can tell, as we look through the pictures, this home has been recently renovated. So this is an idea of what you can get in the fours, you know, with a median price, as we discussed at the beginning of the video, this is an affordable home here in Farragut. So this is what you get. So currently we are just now arriving here at um, Kingsgate subdivision. I'm gonna make a quick drive through and give you an idea of the home. What you're gonna see in here, a lot of 70s, a lot of homes that were constructed in the 70s. So split for your single level ranches, as you can see, a lot of these homes have been purchased. They're being renovated uh, and put back on the market as some of our older subdivisions are. It's fantastic redevelopment that goes on. So. If this is a, it's a mature subdivision, one of the best things about where we're located right here is we're very, very close to everything Farragut has to offer. I mean, just within five minutes, you can be at the Ingalls, uh, get your groceries, fresh market. They're shopping 10 minutes to Turkey Creek. So this is a subdivision that has just extraordinary location and offers some of the best affordability in all of Farragut. And um, there are some newer constructions in other parts of this subdivision, but for the most part, what you're seeing right now is what you're gonna see as you drive through the subdivision. Okay, let's go on over to Sedgwick and um, look at that development. Another home, give you an idea what you get there, a little further up the price scale before we work our way uh, to Bridgemore. Okay, so this is Sedgefield subdivision. Uh, Sedgefield is just slightly further west than the other subdivisions that we're going to go look at next. The home in here that's for sale that I was going to show you, and we'll look at it in a little more detail on the way back out, is going to be coming up on the left over here. So we'll look at that on our way back out. But this is Sedgefield subdivision. It is a subdivision that's a very mature subdivision. You can see tree-lined streets. Uh, mature trees, sidewalks, which is not common at every subdivision, but it does have nice sidewalks and stuff here for folks to get a walk around in. It's also part of the, um, it has the, there's a trail system here in Farragut that connects parks, subdivisions, and multi-mile trail that many, many people take advantage of. Well, Sedgefield is connected to that and we'll look at that on the way back out. But I just want to drive you through real quickly. You're going to see a lot of brick homes, a wide variety, pricing and options for homes. Some fully brick, some brick and, and siding, some just siding. But really, really pretty homes. Well kept, uh, different ages in Sedgefield. Uh, the homes that are in here, some are, are fairly new and some are 20 plus year old. So we'll drive down here and I'm going to take you to the amenities. So this is turning into Sedgefield's pool complex. You can see the pool right here on the uh, on the other side of those bushes and we're not going over in video like we're I'm going over in video that but I want you to see where that is. They do have a nice pool here. They're very affordable HOA in this community so I think it runs somewhere very affordable. So we'll drive on around another couple roads here some of the advantages to the Sedgefield subdivision here in Farragut is it's very close to the interstate. It's off of Watt Road and just a couple of miles over. So if you're someone who is looking to live in an area that gives you access to all the amenities and schools of Farragut, but you want quick access to the road to the interstate system, then it is a fantastic option for you. Pricing in here runs anywhere from the fives to up and the home that we're going to drive by on the way out and i'll point out to you is a um is priced at 745. so a lot of cul-de-sacs you can see just very mature beautiful 
uh, homes, fantastic subdivision. Another amenity or another positive to this subdivision is that when you leave here, and we're going to do that, there's three great parks here in Farragut, and you are literally a quarter mile from Bob Leonard Park, which is a really large, beautiful park here in West Farragut. So you're very close, not only to the interstate, and you're close to other amenities here in Farragut, a little further west than some of the other subdivisions, but you're still, you know, 10 minutes. And um, so it's really, really good option if you enjoy going to the park. You know, you can walk over there, you have a nice swimming pool, and uh, you have really pretty homes and a really mature and beautiful subdivision. So this is Sedgefield. So on our way out, we're gonna stop and jump out of the car real quick and show you a little bit about this home, tell you a little bit about the home that's currently listed for sale out here. This home is brand new on the market as of today, which we're in May of 23. Uh, actually, literally just went active this morning. So it is a, um, a really good indicator of where pricing is today. So let's go out and take a quick look at this home and then once we've done that we will uh jump back in the car and drive on over to uh bob leonard park okay so the home that is for sale is coming up right here on my right I want you guys to be able to see that really pretty home it's right here brick on the front beautiful two-story home really really pretty a fantastic option um, if that's your price range. So yeah, really, really nice home. Let me show you now how quick the drive is over to the park. Okay, so let me take you on over to show you how close Sedgefield is to Bob Leonard Park, which is one of those three great parks that we have here in the Farragut area. And so we pull out and you'll literally see as we turn left right here, we are, here's the park. It's right here. So it's very easy to walk over. I'll show you a little bit. We'll go into both sections. You can see in front of me, big soccer fields or turf, AstroTurf soccer fields. So, you know, they can pretty much play on those all the time. We'll go through here and I'll show you. And just because my daughter played soccer and some things here, you, what you can't do is you park here and the park is actually significantly larger than you can see. What it actually does is it continues to extend on up that walkway, which is part of that walking trail. You can see one of the baseball fields here, which is just fantastic. Some of their other, another field over here to the left, you can see a wood walking trail that goes back through across that creek back there. It's really good. Now this is just this small upper part. And so we'll drive on down here where you can see where the soccer fields are, the baseball fields and softball fields. There's a children's playground down here. And one of the things that you're going to see anywhere in Farragut, Tennessee, is that everything is mowed. Everything is well kept, taken care of, neat, clean. It's a fantastic area for being maintained. If that's something that appeals to you, that does to me and my wife. You like an area that's really well maintained. It's important to you. It's pretty. They do great with their flowers, their shrubbery, keeping everything mowed and weedy. That's Farragut. So, um, you know, we, I'm asked a lot. I mean, do you really think Farragut's worth it? Well, it really depends on what's important to you because it's very unique in here. It's really good for that. And this is the AstroTurf soccer fields to our right over here. And you can barely see it. They're up there mowing again today. One of the playgrounds here in front of us for the younger kids so that when big brother or sister is doing something out here, there's somewhere to come. There's also, you know, it's unusual someone start over here playing. Honestly, you see some kids there walking up baseball and soccer fields. And, you know, and you get a mix of this. You get young people out doing what they're doing. You get a lot of folks here this gentleman who's just walking and enjoying the day on the on the paved trails and paths that are offered here in Farragut. So that is Bob Leonard Park. Very short, but Bob Leonard Park. There's everything here from volleyball courts on. And uh, so let's leave here now and let's run over to Bridgemore. Bridgemore is, if you talk luxury in Knoxville, Tennessee, without Bridgemore being in the conversation, Bridgemore uh, the home we're going to look at is a fairly new listing, been on the market for eight days at 3.2 million. 
I want to show you that subdivision because this area is known for some of, some of Knoxville's higher priced real estate. And so Bridgemore is one of those areas where if you want to be in a really, really nice luxury community, then Bridgemore is going to be it down here in Farragut. We are driving over now to Bridgemore and I just want you to get an idea. You can see really nice a lot of sidewalks here in Farragut between communities up and down almost to all the roads now, public roads, and they continue to improve that for anyone who enjoys getting out and getting some activity and some exercise. And I think that's pretty much everyone. So Bridgemore is located off of McPhee Road. It is slightly, and I mean slightly, a little more east of Sedgefield where we were. Both of these two subdivisions are a pretty or fairly far west within Farragut. So as we move to the east, we'll get closer to our shopping, such as Turkey Creek, a lot of the restaurants and, and those types of amenities that are there. So we're gonna drive on through. I'm just gonna take you for the ride. You can get a feel for what the area looks like as we take this tour. Uh, one of the things Knoxville did a few years ago, uh, quite a few years ago now, is start working with roundabouts, which are much more efficient. Once again, you can tell well-maintained. The homes out here are obviously not multi-million dollar homes, but they're very nice homes. And so you see a lot of that. Now, Bridgemore is over on the right. There's a sign for it right there. Obviously not the entrance, but it is sits back behind that. So what I'm going to do is take us in on, on a little drive through Bridgemore. So we're coming up on the entrance. Uh, right here, this is Bridgemore, and it is beautiful. It has one of the best entrance parkways that I've ever seen. Uh, over here to the left, turn that a little bit so you can see it. Um, there is a creek waterway that runs all the way down the middle of this area. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I'll probably show that to you a little bit better here in a little bit. Um, and then you can tell as we drive through Bridgemore, this is Bridgemore. We'll take a quick drive through here. You can see much, much larger homes. Almost every home in this development is going to be a minimum of a million dollars. You can see some more of the, the parkway, this uh, entrance, uh, just the waterfalls, the rocks. It's just absolutely stunning and beautiful. Always maintained, always taken care of. And like I said, if you're someone who is looking for if you're someone who's looking to live in, in luxury, then this is it. Uh, Knoxville's uh, some of the best that Knoxville has to offer. Uh, we will ride right up here. This is their clubhouse. Uh, work our way up on a quick drive through. You can see very, very, very beautiful uh, two-story clubhouse here. A fantastic pool right up here. So this is, I want to give you a tour just real quickly to show you what the entrance parkway looks like here in Bridgemore. Just one more level above everything else that's in our area. Beautiful waterfall that runs the entire length of the parkway. Ponds, there were some young folks up there fishing and enjoying the, the afternoon here in this beautiful May day. So you can, we'll grab on down here and let you take a quick look this way. We'll come back to the other side. So this is the entrance way to Bridgemore. It's absolutely, the parkway is beautiful all the way up. You have uh, ponds and waterfalls and, and rock and, and stone covered bridges and just mature trees, perfectly kept lawns and grass and, and landscaping is just an absolutely stunning development. So I want you guys to see that and then we're gonna move on up, follow this on up and then we'll look at a few of the homes and then we'll move on. All of these homes in here in Bridgemore, obviously these are all larger homes. Very few homes in here under 4,000 square feet, but they do exist. And there's very few homes on the market. I'm gonna show you one 
It's only been on the market for, I think, seven or eight days. Three and a half million dollars. We're not going to tour the home. I'm going to uh, take you by it and then show you some pictures and um, some of those so that you can tour it that way. We don't have to bother the homeowners. But Bridgemore is an absolutely stunning, beautiful community. Large homes, a lot of old world, I call it style, uh, English cottage look, stone, brick, timbers, um, just beautiful. And then up here at the end of the cul-de-sac, I want you to see, look at this view. You can see for miles, uh, overlooking all of the, you know, the, the valley. Beautiful up here, a little hazy today. So as we leave Bridgemore, on top of the luxury and the beauty that Bridgemore brings and offers, the quality of construction, all of those things, the amenities, it is also well located, you know, 10 minutes to the interstate, but we're really close to McPhee Park. You can see that all the streets out here are sidewalked on both sides in a lot of areas. And so you can easily go from Bridgemore, where I'm pulling out now, down here to McPhee Park. We're approaching McPhee Park, which is a very, very popular park here in Farragut. And so we'll just turn in here, go in this entrance. So McPhee Park is a large park, lots of walking spaces, lots of paved trails for folks to get out and enjoy the afternoon, get a little exercise. It also has tennis courts. It has basketball courts, as you can see. If you look over straight in front of me, you know, it's, you've got paper parking lots, just so well-maintained uh, and such a fantastic and beautiful park. So you see, you know, we've got lots of tennis courts here. There are you know, just great, um, basketball facilities out here for anyone. Shuffleboard is also part of that on both sides. There, these courts over here that are tennis courts, many of which have now been converted into pickleball courts, which is obviously very, very popular across the entire country. Started out with our older folks enjoying pickleball and now seems to be the rave throughout all ages. We'll drive on back through McPhee Park. I want to give you a quick tour of that. There's soccer fields, soccer fields all around. Lots of picnic tables out here to come out, sit, enjoy the afternoon. There's a playground and stuff up here to the left, a pavilion where you can enjoy that we're working our way up to. I want you guys to be able to see that. So just a fantastic, once again, beautiful, fantastic park here in Farragut. And this park... And the park that we looked at when we left Sedgwick, you know, um, Bob Leonard, and we're literally talking 10, 12 minutes uh, between the two. And if you think about the first park that we looked at, Farragut is full of parks. And you can see over here, this is the pavilion, but I'm going to turn this way so you can see in the distance all the kids. If you look back there, that is a huge water park playground for them. I mean, and it's enjoyed heavily throughout the year. So well maintained, you can see up here at the pavilion, we've got people who are getting ready to have some type of party, um, something for S Christian Academy of Knoxville is, is having some stuff up here. So just a fantastic, beautiful place. We've got over here to the right and I'll try to pull through and show you guys that, you know, playgrounds, which you're not able to see on camera right now. Not only is there the water park playground, but there are traditional playgrounds, very large in here, another pavilion, uh, tons of parking. Like I said, more soccer fields on the way out. If you look at Knoxville at the parks, I mean, we start out, we looked at Founders Park. We've looked at Bob Leonard Park. There's McPhee Park, which we're just now leaving. So if you look at any of those three parks we've took a quick tour of today, as we've looked at these subdivisions, what you see is that if you live in Farragut, you have tons of opportunity to enjoy the outdoors, no matter what age, no matter what um, you enjoy doing. 
anything. We, you know, we're very close to the water, which we're going to take a tour of here in just a minute. And the waterfront, there's a couple of arenas. There is places to eat. So let's go take a tour of our shopping and waterfront areas. Okay, so here we are at Concord Marina. You can see it back behind me. Let's so get it up a little bit. There you go. You can see Concord Marina. This is one of three marinas in the area. There's Concord Marina, there's Choto Marina, and there's Fox Road Marina. Fox Road is actually just straight on down the, it's, uh, this sits in this back area here off of the main channel and, and Fox Road is actually just further, a little further on down. So, you know, there's plenty of marinas if you want to get in a boating and, and you want a place to leave a boat in the water all year long. Or if you want a trailer boat, right across the entrance here at Concord is a public boat ramp that you can use uh, to put your boat in the water. Uh, one last thing I do want to mention about out here at Concord at the marina, this is actually part of Concord Park. It's a park we didn't talk about earlier. And uh, just out here at this, we've got a par three golf course, a skating, outdoor skateboarding rink, a dog park that's down here along the water. There's a place down here to do kayaking. There's all kinds of stuff out here. So I want to mention that as part of it. And then if you can see, you can hear the music up here behind me. Uh, that is Lakeside uh, Tavern. It is an on-the-water dining establishment. It's one of mine and my wife's favorites. So I decided that it'd be best to end the video here today so that just as soon as I finish, we can go in there and have a uh, dinner and a drink and and enjoy uh, the beautiful scenery and this beautiful May afternoon. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, like us below and click the subscribe button if you haven't already. If there's anything you'd like for us to cover in a future episode uh, coming up, please put that in the comments below. We do these videos because we want to help you learn more about our Knoxville market in case this is a place you want to call home. My contact information is below. You can send me an email. Uh, give me a phone call, a text, or you can go ahead and get that Zoom meeting scheduled and then we can go ahead and get a time set up to where I can learn a little bit about your personal situation and help you decide if Knoxville is or is not the right place for you. Okay, until next time, I hope to see you guys around town soon.